Hello, welcome back to Brenda Shishi Live Nudi In this episode, I want to share a quick breakdown of these creations um, It's actually really simple <clears throat> I made this, uh, I was inspired by the photograph uh, somewhere from internet um, So I render this currently using Nishita Sky Texture uh, This is, I think, Cycles um, Yeah, it's pretty simple um, Okay, so let, let me explain so we have just a simple cube and a plane as the floor. This simple cube, I turn it into this kind of uh, simple pattern, slightly random, but uh, still looking kind of nice, especially with the shadow uh, that's being reflected. Okay, so I just have to stop playing that. So um, how did I create this? Let's see. So there are basically two parts of this model. The the bottom part, the pipe, the base, and then the, the rooftop. And I'm using a lot of instance here, but the basic part is basically this uh, horizontal or vertical lines um, that I can still adjust because it's basically just uh, like a grid. Okay, so yeah, it's still it's still kind of neat, and I can actually adjust the the height and things like that. So where did I actually start? I start with this grid. Um, I know the fact that if we use mesh to curve, it's gonna turn a polygon grid into just polygon edge or line or like a curve. So. Um, I started, let me draw it, this kind of grid, okay, and then I, I use mesh to curve, curve to mesh, and then I'm using this profile curve just to make it a 3D, you can see here, that's how I turn the curve into some kind of lines that we can adjust, I can uh, this thing is actually just a cylinder, like a cylinder, and I just use four resolution of four, so it's like just like a cube being extruded on a curve, and then I instance it on points. While I'm doing instancing, I'm actually doing like random rotations at the same time, because this is only like a vertical or horizontal lines. I'm using this trick so we have like a like a 90 degrees rotations more or less so I'm kind of cheated there and I'm using it while instancing it into a points and there's all these kind of uh, numbers that's if we want to change the the instancing of this object we can change change this number so that's what it is and then this adding things basically um, it's just like adding one or adding two to the grid so they are correct when we change this parameter If you build this from scratch and uh, you, you will understand what's going on here with the add this is all in relations to the grid and instancing now if I look at it again it looks complicated but it's actually uh, rather simple okay the length the length so it can be really short really tall um, this curve line is pointing up so the direction is going up and then I use another curve to mesh just to make the bottom part which is the like another pipe I can turn this into a simple pipe if I change the resolutions so it's now rounded so that's the bottom part of this setup so I instance it for every grid so 
I started with just a simple mesh like this and then I instance it turn it into an array as a grid and then for every grid I instance it on every face and then I have like a, this bottom part here I'm erasing while holding D and right mouse button that's a yeah it's pretty useful okay so and then I have this shade smooth on and off if you if I want to have this rounded I can do that now this is like more like rounded this could be like a like a children playground or like a car park I, I set it material silver and gold and join the geometry okay now we have this objects okay so with the part that's uh, like a parameter like this I should have uh, done something uh, better like I should have used group input for example and then just pipe this out so I can adjust it over here so let me try doing that so this value going there this it must be a better way to just replace the value maybe I shouldn't do that for now but yeah you can uh, try piping this into the parameter so you can make adjustment very very quickly for example we have this seed controlling the rotations right it was working before okay that's seed we can use group input and just pipe the, the seed into the parameter so we can now have uh, multiple of these objects each one of them can have different seed so that's kind of nice feature of geometry nodes and then we can now have this nice pattern we can adjust the sunlight and the sun rotations so we have this kind of uh, art okay so and uh, with this setup uh, there's one node that's really important is this one realize instances without this node if you actually try to bake this apply command a it will break so without this if I get rid of this and then try to bake this guy it's gonna disappear so that's really wrong you need to have realized instances so the instances become real objects so you can actually command a and then bake it so something to keep in mind so yeah like i said this is a uh, really simple example but also quite uh, powerful and a quick way to create this kind of design it's a grid pattern basically but uh, with just simple rotations and then randomization we get this pattern so that's kind of neat so you start with uh, just a cube geometry nodes turn it into grid art um, yeah hopefully that's kind of useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you